New on the night beat lunchtime turns into chaos as a food fight breaks out at McCullum High School. Yeah, one school employee was seriously injured while trying to clean up. And as the night team's Bill Barajas explains, the students responsible may now be facing criminal charges. Seconds after the food started flying, the camera started rolling. Students began rushing for cover. I saw corn, slushies, <laughs> burritos. It was a rowdy food fight. I mean, there were plates all over the floor and corn in the air and some milk cartons as well. District administrators say it started at about 1230 and involved mostly juniors and seniors. And when the bell rang, the people were starting to throw food at each other and all. And then that's when you were hit? Talk to us about that. Yeah, I just got hit out of nowhere, like by an orange. A school employee was also injured. They were rushed to the hospital in serious condition. The employee who was injured went to go start to clean up the mess that was left behind, and the employee slipped and fell. School officials say a total of 10 students are responsible and now facing charges of inciting a riot. Inciting a riot is because that stems from there was 900 kids in the cafeteria, and when the food fight started, everyone rushed out and it, it caused somewhat of a stampede out there. We obtained this letter sent home to parents saying, quote, students who participated in the food fight will face consequences and may be sent to a hearing. If the student is a senior, he or she may be denied the opportunity to participate in the graduation commencement ceremony. The punishment was met with mixed reaction, but at least one student feels it was fair. Way too harsh, but the fact that they hurt somebody doing it, that, that kind of evens it out for me. Bill Barajas, KSAT 12 News.